Hi, welcome to Beers with Rich. I'm Rich, founder and head of investments at Under the Radar Report. It is great to be back. It's still early on in the year, and in my view, this represents a great opportunity to really take stock, work out where you are in your investment journey, and where you need to be by the end of the year. So where are you, how are you going building wealth? So I'm gonna talk about the highlights of January, and we're going to talk about stocks and sectors where we're seeing some big opportunities. Let's get it on. So market-wise, January continued the momentum from late 2023. So the market kept going up overall. But there were a few key exceptions, a few key bumps. So we saw big selling in Google Owner Alphabet. Like it, it was down 7.5% in a day or thereabouts. So it lost, effectively losing the gains from the month, which shows you just, just how ebullient the market or ebullient the market was, you know, at the start of the year, especially in the US. We're also seeing rate cuts. That's still on the agenda, but in the big US market, there's probably less of an appetite for cutting uh, than there previously was. Certainly Jay Powell, the Fed Reserve Governor, poured cold water on expectations to a degree. The big deal from our perspective as well at Under the Radar Report, you know, the real buying we're seeing in uranium and uranium stocks. So the uranium price up something like 30% in a few weeks. That is a big deal. We're also seeing, which is positive for our portfolio, resilience of the iron ore price. So I'll get on to that, but let's talk about what this mean for, means for stocks. I mean, everything comes back to your portfolio. We always know that. And the big point to make on that is staying invested is where you make the big returns. So that is really the key to investing, is not trading in and out. You don't make it from surfing the momentum. No matter where you are in your journey, if you're not paying much for stocks, your profit and those profits will grow you know as as you reinvest your dividends as you do things like you know averaging down and really leveraging into stocks that you that you're that you understand and like so what we're seeing on a stock by stock front is opportunities among those stocks that have been ignored Certainly, we made a strong return recently. It certainly surprised me, like the speed of which the re return was made on Aristocrat game technology. I mean, people were literally ignoring this stock when I looked at it. And we only covered it a few months ago, already up 30%. So, you know, what you're looking to do right now is buy stocks that aren't in the news, that are trading at cheap levels. This is what you need to include in your portfolio. Stocks that are profitable or, or have a line of sight to profitability, sometimes they're paying dividends, but they're not well known. So this is a great way right now. This is like now is the time where, to look at these stocks because a lack of interest in a stock paradoxically means that you should be interested. On the other hand, you need to be looking at stocks that are on the nose, even the big caps. I mean, this is where you're going to make your money. The big caps that have strong um, you know, financial strength that can withstand some of the slings and arrows sentiment-wise that have come their way. A classic example recently was Kogan that you know, spiked 30% in a few days. I mean, this is a great example of buying when it's, when it's low of a stock that is probably going to grow time, the, over time. The point is... If you don't pay too much, your downside is limited. This is the case whatever phase you're at in your wealth building journey. So at Under the Radar Report and in Blue Chip, we're coming up with loads of stocks to look at. Loads of stocks that fit this criteria of having good fundamentals and are cheap. You need to look at your portfolio and work out whether they're a good fit. On the small cap side of things, we're coming up with a new stock um, in the next week or so that is really worth having a look at. And it's worth looking at these new stocks. We, we average it about one a month, maybe not quite that. And at different times, you know, there might be more new stocks than other times, but the average is probably one every, 
every five or six weeks. So in the past couple of years, our return from these new stocks has been 30%. So that's pretty good when you, you know, lots of them haven't even been going for more than 12 months. And, you know, you've got to factor in what I said before about longevity being the key to good returns. But this is a good start. This return also includes a couple of commodities um, producers that have fallen out of bed. I can so. never stress this enough. You need to build your portfolio up to be able to withstand stresses. So a good example on the company side that we looked at in Blue Chip is Fortescue Metals. I mean, this is a huge company to be sure. But that is the point. They're able to withstand some, some really big problems they're having with their Ironbridge asset. I mean, we're talking about cost blowouts, you know, minimum $100 million. When you get cost blowouts in mining stocks that are smaller cap or that are smaller than Fortescue, this derails the whole company. But for Fortescue, it could well be a buying opportunity and certainly a bump in the road. That is the benefit you get from scale in mining. In the same way, owning 14 stocks or more gives you that, gives you that leeway to handle some bumps in the road. So we cover off on this in Building Wealth from Scratch which I highly recommend for those who, who really need to kickstart your portfolio in 2024. This is worth checking out, Building Wealth from Scratch. We're getting a really good response from it, and people are coming back to us and asking us lots of questions, and our doors are always open. We love fielding questions here at Under the Radar Report. A couple more things. Look, You've heard about the collapsed Chinese developer Evergrande. I mean, this is like this company got literally weighed down by something like five hundred billion dollars of debt. I mean, it's a huge, it's a huge event. But like the iron ore prices kept rising. Well, a fun fact that caught my attention in our iron ore report this week is that China is now the world's biggest car producer, certainly car manufacturer. Its exports grew. 60% in 2023, 60%, and it's taken over Japan just at the end of the year. That was driven, forgive the expression, but that was driven by 80% growth in EV production. I mean, that's phenomenal. Like, if you're driving a Tesla, it was made in China, full stop. A couple more things. Love talking to seven of Australia's top fund managers, gained more insight into the market trends and the and what I also liked was the answer to the question we asked about the best advice they've ever received. Look, I've known Chris Prunty for a long time now. I always like Chris's um, contributions from QVG Capital. Um, he said the best investment strategy is the one you can stick to. And look, like that is the key. We know that consistent investing is fundamental to building wealth. And so is consistent beer tasting. Well, I'm hitting, this summer I've been hitting the low, the zero alcohol beers, and this one just looks fantastic. Certainly the behemoth, I think it's a New Zealand beer. So let's try a hazy IPA. I've got to know these zero alcohol beers pretty well, actually. Mmm, it's it's a bit fruitier. It's different. It's it's interesting. Hmm. Well, it certainly it certainly goes down a treat, and I'm going to look forward to many more missives, many more beers with Rich this year. So here's to next time.